Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do a little bit of pre-work on the power wagon to get us ready for some off-road adventures. As I mentioned in a previous video, the wench on this vehicle is actually factory installed. It is a worn 12,000 pound wench and it does have a synthetic cable on there. One of the things that is required by the manufacturer when we get the vehicle is to actually pre-tension that cable. I've read in a couple of different places that it is pre-tensioned, but on the instructions itself that came with the truck, it says that you do have to pre-tension. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna walk you through the, the process of doing this. I actually have my brother-in-law next door. He's got an F-150. We're gonna hook up to him and we're gonna actually use his truck so that we can get it all pre-tensioned. So let's get to it. All right, so one of the things that you wanna do, first of all, is we're gonna to wanna to hook up our controller onto here. And then there is also a lever. I don't know if you can see that lever right up there. But this lever actually, when you pull it down like so, you can see that that actually allows it to free spin so that you can actually pull the cable out. So we'll get the controller on here first, let out some of the cable, and that'll allow us to actually pull everything out so that then we can start the process of actually pulling it back in. All right, the controller itself actually goes into this little port right here. It's actually keyed so that you can actually see it actually fits only in one way. Push that all the way in secure. And then the only other thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is turn everything on, but you basically have all of your controls right there back and forth. So first thing, I wanna release a little bit of tension. There we go. And then we can actually pull it out. One of the things that you definitely wanna do is have gloves on. And then it actually comes with this red strap, which you're supposed to use to pull everything out. Um, not really sure if I need that with gloves on, but it probably doesn't hurt to have uh, have something to pull it because you do you can get your finger stuck in this thing and it is a pretty it is a lot of tension on there. So that's it, and then we're just gonna pull it straight out. So there's supposed to be a red lead to tell you that you're getting to the end. You can see the red right there. So what we wanna do is actually pull it to where you have three or four rounds left on the drum, and then that is where you wanna go. You don't wanna go all the way to the end, you just wanna be able to see the drum itself. All right, so we're there. We're just gonna stretch it all out, and then we can start pulling it back in. All right, so I don't wanna scratch up his toe hook. So I got this strap, which I'm probably not gonna use um, other than today, just because um, it's only for 3,000 pounds, my truck is 6,000, but I don't need a lot of pressure on here because we're just trying to get it pulled up. But as you can see, it's a little bit of an incline, but it's just enough pressure for us to be able to tighten everything up. So that's what we're working on. Hi, neighbor. How's What's it going? going on? <laughs> we're going to play tug of talking? war. We're going to play a little tug of war. <laughs> no, I'm, I got to pre-tension the, the cable on my winch. So. He's the one. He's the he's the one being towed by the wedge. As All right. Ford, don't hurt it. I know. I know. Trust me. So one last thing you want to keep in mind is that when you are wenching, you do want to open up your hood, and the reason why is because if that cable breaks, that knuckle, you don't want it to come and go through your windshield. You want it to hit the inside of your hood, and that protects the rest of your truck. Now you'll do some damage, but I'd much rather have a little bit of body damage because most of this stuff is steel, especially the bumper. Um, than it to go through my windshield. So let's open that up. And then we can start the process of pulling things in. So you do want to push this lever up into the lock position. It was down, so now it's locked. And then you can start spooling. One of the things I want to mention is that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be standing in front of here and I'm actually going to be spooling it on and making sure that it goes on evenly. The cable goes on to the spool nice and neat, evenly. You never ever want to do what I'm about to do, which is to stand in front of your wench as that cable's coming through. Because obviously if it breaks, it's going to come and hit you in the head and it's going to kill you. Or at least severely injure you. So what I'm about to do is purely for the purpose of pre-tensioning this cable. Don't ever do this when you're actually recovering either yourself or someone else. So now that it's all nice and tight, we can unhook this. This actually has a really good grommet that actually fits right around here and keeps everything nice and tight and clean. One of the things that I'll probably do is put some grease in here to keep all the pins from rusting out. But for now, we're pretty good. 
and it does stay really dry. That's it, that's all I wanted to do today was get that pretension. If I go off road, if I need to do any kind of recovery, I won't have to worry about having some sort of a rat's nest in there. But as you can see, the cable's pretty long. I'd say it's probably 50 feet. And so if I ever get myself in trouble off road, um, I just gotta find a tree that's somewhere within 50 feet of my truck and I can pull myself out. So 12,000 pound winch, truck weighs about 7,000 pounds. You gotta keep that in mind, especially when you're looking at inclines and stuff like that, or if you're stuck in a ditch. Um, a lot of people don't like the synthetic cables that these come with because they do tend to break a little bit more easily. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. If I find uh, if I find that I'm having issues with that, I'll probably switch out. But for now, uh, it should be just fine. Uh, don't plan on getting myself stuck very much. And uh, the idea is to have the equipment that you need in case you do, and hopefully never have to use it. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see future videos, don't forget to hit that bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great week, everybody.